All right. What do y'all think about my starting all my commentated videos with all right? Probably should come up with a better one. We are arriving at Rig Station where I will be showing you how to complete the Bandit Challenge 10, which is Rob 5 trains cleanly. Now, cleanly doesn't mean that you get off the train without a bounty having not been spotted. It simply means that you did not get captured by the popo. So you might be wondering why I am now hopping on my horse and riding away from the train. Well, you see, this beautiful rose gray Arabian is just that beautiful. She is not very intelligent. If I don't do this particular method, she will go down that bridge when I park the train on it and she will find some way to fall off of it and die and I am not a fan of when that happens so what I like to do is come out here get the loadout that I want and then tell her to stay Don't go nowhere. very important alright I have fourteen thousand five hundred twenty five dollars and eighty one cents so first things first drive to rigs Hop off the train, take your beautiful horse for a little ride, park her by the bridge, and then go for a nice little jog. Your character might need a little exercise. After jogging back to the train, we are going to hop on, get accosted, whoa, that was weird, what? get accosted by an engineer, and promptly push him out the window. And take this baby for a joyride. I do apologize for all the breathing you are probably hearing. I am a total editing noob. I am just using a headset and the PlayStation 4's share feature. I apologize. I will try to do things to make it a little bit more visually pleasing. Like going into cinematic mode for an action shot when the guards start shooting at me. As I was saying, this is the way I like to rob the train. There are ways to do it without getting a bounty. But that involves going to the station, waiting on the water tower, and jumping on when the train starts to move. And it takes an inordinate amount of time for the train to start moving. I don't like to wait. You can just take a train to Riggs and then immediately steal it. That's, that is the method I prefer, just for a faster turnover. Alright, as soon as you park the train, promptly deal with the guards. You'll see that the crime was reported and I am now wanted. And have probably bounty gonna show up any second now there it went man that was brutal using a shotgun really makes for some gruesome kills anyway so robbing the train all you need to do to rob the train is to open this cabinet boom there we go five out of five clean train robberies I, if you want to skip ahead to when I escape this bad boy, I'll put a timestamp in the description. But now I'm going to go into some features of train robbery. So, you can find cigarette cards on the train, which are used to complete a collectible challenge. If you get 12 of the cigarette cards in a pack, you can mail them to this dude, this chain smoking dude that has a fancy for cards and he'll pay you it, you need to complete one set to go towards the total completion but I think there are seven sets total in addition to cigarette cards there are pieces of jewelry that you can get that are used in the creation of talismans that you need for completion of your compendium The two pieces of jewelry in question are a pair of gold earrings 
and the silver chain bracelet. Whoa, just reached through the cabinet there. I think because I use dynamite, the game thinks the cabinet doors are destroyed even though they are still there. Interesting. But just some highlights on the, the jewelry. I'll show you where you can find that. I was able to find the silver chain bracelet by doing a story mission involving the widow you can find here at Willard's Rest. Um, I don't know if that spawns 100% of the time, but another, the golden earrings can be found here at just northwest of Wallace Station at a place called Watson's Cabin. There's an old lady there with some naughty children. When you show up to the place, she'll think you're one of her little boy's buddies dropping off some loot from some heinous crimes you've committed, and you can walk right in and steal right out of her nightstand. When I did it, I got two golden wedding bands, but I think it spawns as earrings, usually. So I was, whoa gruesome. So I was, no, I didn't want to pick up the guard. I wanted to loot the cabinet. Let's, let's drop the guard. You might be noticing that I'm not getting shot at by the police right now. See the little arrows on the icons down there? That is one of the features of parking a train on the bridge. Law enforcement is not smart enough to come up here and shoot at me. They'll hang out down there. So I can rob this train as leisurely as I like. There are three safes on board. You can get into the safe using sticks of dynamite or explosive slugs with the shotgun. Dynamite costs a dollar a pop. You can buy that at the fence. Any fence should have dynamite. Now let's go see if I can get lucky with jewelry during the passenger robbery. You'll note that the passengers hand you money in addition to the valuables on their person. Hopefully I can get the earrings that I've been talking about so much. Alright, ooh, pocket watch. So you'll note that I have accrued a $125 bounty. The loot that we get from robbing this train will more than make up for that. You can sell your loot at the fence. I think the pieces of jewelry average about $10 a pop. I'll go over my haul at the end of the robbery. Still no luck on the earrings front. I had cleared the guards. Why are you telling me to clear the guards? Now. Of course, take anything. Just don't hurt me. I'm professional. You know how many trains I've robbed? This is all I'm allowed to carry. Hey, this is 1907. You can be a strong, independent woman. No you can carry as much money as you want. Okay, damn it. Here, this is all I have. Alright, last passenger. Right. Still no earrings. Well, we'll have one more opportunity for that. I'll show you here in a moment. First, let's loot some more luggage. There are three luggage carts that, that have safes in them. I think I mentioned that already. And then there's a final cart that has a cabinet in it. We'll mosey over there here shortly. But first, let's blow up another safe. Neat feature. Note my 125 bounty. Every time I blow something up, it goes up. Bang. 130. 
Then people yell at you. Right. I think this is the second cigarette pack. I think trains typically average three. So you can pretty you can stock up on your cigarette cards. Which is nice for the collectibles. This is the cabinet I was talking about earlier. There'll be a pink jewelry box in there. That might have the earrings in it. There they are. Lucky us. Two gold earrings. Alright. Last thing to loot is this drawer. There should be a billfold in there. And some cocaine gum in there with a cigar hiding in the back. Now to Vamoose. Apparently, they figured out how to get on the train tracks. Let's dispatch these guys. Alright, my faithful steed is now running down the tracks to meet me. That is my preferred way of escape. And you'll note we are running back towards get our compass back up that way we can see the law enforcement. We are running back towards rigs. That is by design. So what we'll do is we'll get out of the crime scene bubble. I will typically go up this hill to these bushes, hop off my horse, tell my horse to buzz off for a little bit, and then I will hide in these bushes. Because our law enforcement is very intelligent. They can't see you if you hide in a bush. <laughs> They're getting away. It was just me. It was just one person. <laughs> they are so distressed. All right. That should do it. And, uh, again, whistle for my faithful steed. I think 170 is probably the highest bounty I've gotten robbing a train. So, so what I'll do is I'll hop back on my lovely mode of transportation. I'll put on a. Okay, let's 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 try that again. I will put on a upstanding member of society outfit. Slow down. You're not the boss of me. I'll drive my horse how I want to. Yeah, you you listen to John. You mind yourself. See you back, sir. See this guy. This guy knows what it's about. He, he's always customer service. Right. I'm liable to get robbed with this much coming in. So I think I started somewhere around fourteen hundred five hundred. Excuse me, fourteen thousand five hundred. And as you can see, I've already made two hundred dollars off that haul. And if we go into my valuable stash, we can see that I've got two of those. One, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, approximately 80 more dollars on top of that. So what I'll do is I'll go to this nice customer service Back guy again? here. It's my friendly and face, isn't it? Man, he's so nice. I wish I could just compliment him all the time. And I'll buy tickets to Emerald Station, not <laughs> Emerald, Emerald Ranch, where the fence is, and I'll sell my haul, buy some more dynamite, Dynamite, and I'll rinse and repeat, and that—that that is how I uh, was able to complete the Bandit Challenge number ten. All right, should I do all right as my uh, salutation for buy? Also, I, I need—I need recommendations. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. That one—that one sucks too.